Oh, hello. I was just listening to a great audiobook while playing this card game on my computer. Speaking of great audiobooks, I just finished The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hell, written and performed by Robert Dagoni. This book had me hooked from the very beginning and didn't let up most of the way. The main character, Sam Hill, is very relatable in that many of us have dealt with adversity of some kind while growing up. Sam Hill was born with ocular albinism, which makes his eyes red. As a result, people are scared of him, mean to him, and generally unaccepting of him. With the help of Sam's religious and strong-willed mother, laid-back father, and two misfit friends, Sam navigates his way through various life events that shape him as a person. In this coming-of-age story, Sam spends his entire life coming to accept that he can't control situations around him. However, I would say that the real lesson learned is that we can and must control our reactions to situations in order to really find happiness. Sam Hill is the kind of character you want to root for. He makes so many silly mistakes while growing up, but he is almost always coming from a place of good intentions. Sam's mother has a beautiful heart, and her faith in the Holy Mother was inspirational to me. Sam's close friends, Mickey Kennedy and Ernie Cantwell, are very well-written characters. They have so many heartfelt moments with Sam. The David Bateman and Sister Beatrice storylines were incredibly well told. These two characters made me so angry. They were really bad people, and I honestly felt that these two characters were perfect for strengthening the theme of Sam having to grow to be the person he does become. My only criticism is that the end of the book feels rushed and doesn't live up to the richness and story as the first three quarters of the book. It felt like the author didn't know how he wanted to finish the book and just wanted to get it done with. If you're looking for a good audiobook, this one doesn't disappoint. I give the story four and a half out of five stars, and I give the narrator five stars. Fantastic story. So did you like The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hell? What did you think of the last third of the book? What other audiobooks have you enjoyed? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Ha, ha, ha.